Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of solving addition and subtraction problems. This is standard 3.4a in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 24 of the 2019 released STAR test. If you have not already done so, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, and then unpause it. We will look at our answers together. So we have three kids here, Samantha, Gordon, and Diego. They each brought an ice chest to the picnic. Samantha's is pretty large. Hers is 83, and Gordon's is 28, and Diego's is 37. And you'll notice there's not going to be any answer choices at the bottom, any A, B, C, D, or F, G, H, and J. This is what we call a gridable response. We're supposed to fill in our bubbles on the answer document. So we are on our own to try to figure out this answer, and then I will show you how to bubble it in if this were a test. But the real question comes right here. What's the difference? So before we go any farther, we need to know that difference has a special meaning in mathematics. Just like difference, uh, just like sum means the answer to a an addition problem, product is the answer to a multiplication problem, quotient is the answer to a division problem, difference means what is the answer to a subtraction problem? So that is going to give us an automatic clue. You see that word difference? What is the difference? That word in math means subtraction. It means we have to subtract and find the answer. In pounds, well, everything's in pounds, between the weight of Samantha's chest and the combined weight of Gordon's and Diego's chest. So combine, when we combine things, that means we're going to have to add so really what we're going to do is I'm just going to, you know what, I'm just going to put a little box. This is going to represent Samantha's ice chest. So the difference between Samantha's ice chest, so Samantha minus, and then we need the combined weight of Gordon and Diego. So I'm going to put Gordon's right here. And I'm going to put Diego's right here. I'm going to put a little parentheses. Parentheses means do this first. So first I need to combine Gordon and Diego. Then I'm going to subtract that from Samantha. So let's, that's a two-step problem because we need to add first, subtract second. Let's see what we have here. Gordon is going to be 28. Diego is 37. Samantha is 83. So let's do this problem. First make sure we combine Gordon and Diego. So we're just going to do vertical addition here, 28 and 37. And so that's going to be 8 and 7 is 15, carry to 1. 1 and 2 is 3, 3 and 3 is 6. So 65 pounds is what Gordon and Diego's ice chest weigh all together. So we're really just looking at 83 minus this. And we're going to put a 65 down here because that's really what that is, that 80. That 28 and 37 is 65. So that's a pretty simple subtraction problem. 83 minus 65. So uh, we're going to have to regroup from that tens place because 3 minus 5 doesn't work. I need to take a 10 away. That leaves 7. So I'm going to take that 10, break it up into 10 ones. Now, instead of 3 ones, I've got 13 ones. That's pretty good. 13 minus 5 is 8, 7 minus 6 is 1. So it looks like my answer is going to be 18. Just to double check, I wonder if I do that 18 difference. If you take the subtraction problem and flip it upside down, 18 difference plus the 65. Let's make sure I get back up into 83. So 8 and 5 is 13. And 1 and 1 is 2, 2 and 6 is 8. Yes, so that works. If you really needed to, you can double check this original calculation here. 65 minus 37 should equal 28, but we're pretty sure that's good. So my answer is 18. How do I bubble it in? Well, when we bubble it in, you're going to get something that looks like this. It's going to have four columns, but this first column is going to be empty. It's just going to be a decimal point. And then you're going to get these three columns you work with. This is the ones place, this is the tens place, and this is the hundreds place. So you write in 18, but make sure you write 110, eight ones. If you scoot it over, it's going to be wrong. And then you're just going to find the bubble that says one, bubble that in, the bubble that says eight, bubble that in. You can leave this hundreds blank.